What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And I'm back here today with a realistic expansion rebuild. So honestly, these are one of my more favorite rebuilds to do because they're very challenging and they're really unpredictable because you're taking the expansion team, going through the draft, and I have to build this realistically. So today we are using the Seattle Supersonics. Obviously, they were a very beloved franchise in the Northwest, but then they relocated to Oklahoma City. But we are going to be taking control of them today. Now, the protection players, obviously, we don't have to do any of these. But I'm kind of curious that maybe, yeah, like Otto Porter wasn't uh, protected. So there will probably be some good guys. Gordon Hayward wasn't protected. But do we want his contract? We'll see. So I actually want to have an element of surprise to this. So we'll see who um, gets protected now. So let's go through this draft. Now, if you pick, oh, my God, Kyle Lowry wasn't protected. All right, you can see a lot of vets here. A lot of vets. Otto Porter is definitely the more enticing name, but, mm, okay, so Kyle Lowry is here, but do I really want Kyle Lowry? Not really. So, we are going to look at some young guys, most likely. Point guards, DeJounte Murray. I don't know why he's in kept, but I think he might be the number one pick here. Malik Beasley was not kept. That's kind of big. Karooks was not kept. Over to power forward, I saw Trey Wallace, Jeremy Grant. Okay, so there's some good names. Derek Favors. And then on, on the center side, we have Bobby Portis. So there's still some young guys. Now, if we sorted by age here, Nicholas Claxton wasn't kept. Bull Bull wasn't kept. Oh, ooh, but I can't draft Bull Bull because I'm going to be drafting Malik Beasley. All right, that hurts. But there's some really good guys here. So I'll see you guys with what the team is going to look like. All right, guys. So I did wrap up the draft. And here's what the team is going to look like. So we have Hassan Whiteside, Otto Porter, DeJounte Murray, Bobby Portis, Malik Beasley, Josh Hart, Jordan Bell, Yogi Ferrell, Troy Brown Jr., Dwayne Bacon, Nicholas Claxton, Jerome Robinson, Carson Edwards, and Talon Horton Tucker. So that is the squad to start this realistic rebuild. We're actually going to sign, we'll, we'll sign Swaggy P so I can send an extra guy to the G League. So I think we're actually going to send Troy Brown Jr. and Nicholas Claxton to the G League. So I'll see what the starting lineup's going to look like. So we have 34 minutes to the backcourt in Beasley and Murray. We're going to have Otto Porter at the three, Bobby Portis at the four, two guys that were traded for each other. They're in the same position. It's always funny when that happens. Uh, Whiteside at the five, Josh Hart, Yogi Ferrell, Jordan Bell, Jerome Robinson. They're also in the same position. They'll be coming off the bench along with Dwayne Bacon. So yeah, unfortunately, THT or Carson Edwards won't be getting minutes this year. Our coach is Milan Mack. We'll see how he does. We'll stay at balance for this year. And then our preseason power ranking, hopefully, is pretty low. Uh, okay, we're actually in the middle. We are currently 18, but I want a good draft pick. So I'm actually really happy with what our record ended up to be. We went 29 and 53, which means we're probably going to have a top 10 pick minimum. DeJounte Murray gets most improved player, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. He will be a restricted free agent, so we'll see how much it will cost to bring him back. But as quote-unquote an expansion team, even though they were a team before, I don't really think... We're going to be that big of free agency suitors this offseason, so I'll probably look to bring back DeJounte Murray. Now, if we do check out the player stats for this year, who kind of had the highest scoring season, it was Otto Porter, 17 points a game for Otto, uh, five rebounds, assist over a steal a game, 45, 38, 83 splits, not bad. He'll probably be back next year because he's, he's going to opt into his $28 million option, so he'll probably be our starting small forward. Bobby Portis, 16 points, eight and a half rebounds, pretty poor shooting season, geez. I was thinking, like, oh, like, his statistical numbers are nice, but his efficiency, not that good. So, might decline his deal. Uh, Whiteside, double-double. He will be a free agent. Yep. Uh, DeJounte Murray, we kind of already talked about him. Malik Beasley, uh, 11 points a game. Two rebounds, 44%, 37 from three. He will be a restricted free agent, so we'll see if we're going to bring him back. I, I don't know. Um, I do think he'll have actually a really good year in real life, Malik Beasley, and I think some team will pay him next offseason. We'll see what teams are throwing at him. Jerome Robertson, seven points a game. Definitely was a reach as the 13th overall pick. Um, and then there's Yogi Farrell, Josh Hart, Jordan Bell, Dwayne Bacon. The only guy that I really plan on bringing back will be Josh Hart. So, actually, I do want to check out Claxton will be a 78. Solid there. And Troy Brown Jr. will be a 79. So the Lakers win it all. LeBron's your finals MVP. Let's get to this draft lottery. So draft lottery, we are going to be having the projected fifth pick in the draft. So I don't know if 2K is going to either screw us over and we can drop to what, seven? Or we'll go to one. Please, 2K, don't hurt my feelings. Oh my god! We dropped to eight? Wow. We just went 29 and 53 and they're going to have the eighth best odds. Oh, we're going to have the 8th pick. What? I'm kind of speechless. 
Um, so I want to fire our trainer so we can pick up Randy Martin. You know what? I'm also going to fire our head coach and get, like, Mike Stauffer, who has incredible ratings. So we signed both of them. Can I get Owen Masters as well? It's looking like that. All right. So we have the eighth pick. This sucks. All right, guys. So with the two picks we had in this draft, I went Cole Anthony, point guard at the UNC, and Johnny Juzang, shooting guard out of Kentucky. Now, kind of the most, like, stable player of our future was DeJounte Murray. And he was a point guard, and I just drafted a point guard. I don't know. Cole Anthony, I feel like, could have been a top five pick, and he fell to eight. It was either him, Mannion, or Vernon Carey, and I ended up going Cole. So, you know what? We could maybe end up just running Murray at shooting guard, so we'll see how this goes. Bobby Portis, I'm going to actually bring back. I'm going to bring back Hart, Brown, Robinson as well. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to bring back everybody. Like I said, we're not going to really have cap space because I do want to bring back Murray and maybe Be Beasley. Yeah, maybe Beasley. So, we'll see more Torium phase here. Anthony Davis has 21 offers. Uh, nah, I wish. So, yeah, we're going to wait and see on those. Dwayne Bacon will probably let walk. Uh, he's got two offers. When did I offer him that? Why does it auto do that? Why is this game weird? But I actually do need a backup big man, so we could go after Montrezl Harrell or DeMarcus Cousins. He has zero offers so far. You know what? I'm going to give DeMarcus Cousins a two-year deal. Um, We'll go team option, so he's going to try to prove himself. And yeah, I think that could be a low-risk, high-reward signing. So we do get DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, Beasley and Murray have yet to get offers on the market. Malik Beasley is about to get a deal from the Sixers, and he got mm, five mil, just above five mil. Um, almost six mil. Is that worth it to be a bench guy for us? But we have Josh Hart, who's making very little money. Uh, who did I send to the G League last year? It was Quax. Like, we have Troy Brown Jr. You know what? I'm going to match it, though. It could always be a trade piece, so we'll do that. And then Murray has yet to get a deal. Uh, let's see what he's asking for. Okay, he's going to get a deal. Three years, 28. We will match that from the Sixers. Wow, the Sixers tried getting Beasley and Murray. Stop trying to steal our players, bro. So we do have three untapped potentials to use. So I do want to send it to Nicholas Claxton. I'm going to send it to, obviously, Cole Anthony. And then we probably will send it to Troy Brown Jr. as he is only 21. Now that I think about it, I probably should have sent it to DeJounte Murray. So Johnny Juzang is going to be in the G League this year, along with Alan Horton Tucker. All right, so here's how the rotation is going to look like. We have Cole Anthony, DeJounte Murray, Porter, Portis, Cousins as the starting five. The bench will be Troy Brown Jr., Malik Beasley, Nicholas Claxton, Josh Hart, and Jerome Robinson. You know what? I don't even know why I'm playing Jerome Robinson. So I'm going to get um, take his minutes away. We're going to give 33 to the backcourt. We'll give 30 to Porter, 32 to Cousins, and then one more to Malik Beasley. So we're going to roll with pace and space as our system proficiency. Uh, damn, it kind of sucks that Cole Anthony doesn't fit it, but Bobby Portis will be gone next year anyway. And then our preseason power ranking is going to come in at 9. All right, let's see if we can actually make the playoffs this year, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. All right, guys, so we ended season number two with a 41 and 41 record. So, hey, I'll take that. Now we are an average team in the NBA. Cole Anthony was an all rookie first team, and we did make the playoffs. We were taking on the Rockets in round one. We were the seventh seed. DeMarcus Cousins had a really solid year 20 and a half points a game, nine and a half rebounds, three assists. I think I might bring him back. I'm going to pick up his team option, so I'll take that. Cole Anthony, 15.7 assists. He probably played really well with DeMarcus Cousins. Portis wasn't bad. Jeez, I'm losing my voice. Portis wasn't bad. 14.7 rebounds. Percentages were already at a true shooting of 52%. Uh, we'll see what it, uh, what it would cost to bring him back. Otto Porter, same with him. He had uh, a 46, 35, 84 season on 12, 4, 0.8 splits. Uh, Murray, 12.7 emphasis or 7.5 rebounds, excuse me. 6.5 assists. Good season there by Murray. Um, and then there's Troy Brown Jr., Malik Beasley, Claxton, Hart, and Robinson. Now, is Johnny Juzang good? 79. Oh, yeah, wait. Okay. Um, I was like, uh, Town Over Tucker, I forgot to say on the GV. He's a 79 as well. All right. So, round one here against the Houston Rockets. I'm not expecting much, but if we can get one win, which we did. All right, I'm content. Now, what the? We're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0? Can we win this series? We're up 3-1. Oh, my God. We're going to win a playoff series. We're going to win a playoff series. 3-2. Okay, let's just win in 6 and move on to the Lakers. What? We beat the uh, Rockets in 6. So, now we're taking on the Lakers, who have LeBron, uh, if you didn't know. Uh, they also have Goran Dragic. Okay. Kyle Kuzma and Anthony Davis. Let's see what happens against them. Uh, we are currently... Down 2-0, we're down 3-0, and we, okay, we don't get swept, 
but we lose in five. So the Lakers win it all. Again, this time Anthony Davis is the finals MVP. So we are going to be selecting pick 18 in this upcoming NBA draft. So that's actually not too low. Don't know if I'm going to try to move the pick, though. All right, so I'm going to try to send Malik Beasley and pick 18 to the Utah Jazz to move up eight spots to pick 10. I will also throw in my second round pick. And they agree to that. So we actually move up in the draft. Now we have a top 10 pick, kind of. So I'll see you guys every good signings with who I take a pick 10. So with the 10th pick, I did take Kai Jones. He is a center out of Texas. And with Bobby Portis possibly leaving, he could be a nice backup big. Uh, so we're going to have to see who we want to possibly get as a power forward. This isn't a very nice free agency class. And hey, we did make the playoffs. So maybe, just maybe, we can actually maybe offer a pretty big deal to somebody out there. So we are mainly looking for forwards. Small forward or power forward. Paul Jones. Um, him or Kawhi would obviously be really nice. Kawhi might go to the Knicks. All right. Power forwards, though. Hmm. Julius Randle is somebody that could be a possibility. Interesting. Um, RJ Barrett. You know what? I might do this. I might offer RJ Barrett a big deal. We have the money. He's somehow in free agency. Let's go out and sign RJ Barrett. Let's do it. I don't care. We're a young, we're, I guess we're a new team. He's a young player. We're going to pay him a lot of money. Uh, so we're going to go out and sign RJ Barrett. And then with that, we will have enough money to possibly go after Julius Randle. I do want to see if possibly marketing, they don't match marketing. So let's see if we offer marketing a lot of money. So we're going to overpay for marketing. Um, well, I guess overpay, but just offer him the max. We'll see if the Bulls match. And then free agents of our own. Otto Porter, we can, we would let everybody walk. I would let everybody walk if we get those two. So Barrett and marketing. Um, yeah, let's see if we... Oh. Oh, Cousins is a free agent. Well, I, I forget that this game is broken still, and they haven't fixed it where you can pick up your team player options in year two. But do we get Markkinen and R.J. Barrett? Wow, we do. We get Markkinen and R.J. Barrett. All right. Now, I want to sign Cousins. I want to give him a two-year deal because um, we will be able to afford Cousins as well. So, wow. What a free agency by the Seattle Supersonics who went 41-41. and 41 all right, so if we look at the squad, we have one, two, hmm, three, four, five, six, seven. If I move Claxton to a power forward, he goes up to an 84, wow. And if I move Murray to a shooting guard, he goes up to an 86. So I still want to sign two more guys. I want to go out and sign Otto Porter. Uh, he's getting a three deal by the Pels, so I will offer you a little bit more. And then we'll see if he accepts that. And then I do want to get a shooting guard here. Uh, not really looking too good on the market. Uh, we could change it right, but he'll regress. Um, well, for KCP, a one-year deal. Why not? So we're going to try to bring in KCP along with bringing back Otto Porter. So yeah, that is a huge free agency by the Seattle Supersonics. So we do have three untapped potentials to use. So I'm going to send RJ Barrett. He was already an A-plus. Sweet. So I'm going to send him. We're going to send Murray. And then I'm going to wrap it off with sending... I forgot we got Market in too. Surprised they didn't match it. And I'm going to finish it off with Cole Anthony. So our starting five is going to be Cole Anthony, DeJounte Murray, RJ Barrett, Larry Markinen, and DeMarcus Cousins. All right, so here's how the rotation is going to look. You guys already know the starting five. It's definitely an interesting starting five. And then we have Nicholas Claxton, Otto Porter, Kai Jones, KCP off the bench. So season proficiency is three and a half stars pace in space. We'll roll with that. And then our preseason power ranking is going to come in at seven on NBA.com. So let's see what we do, and I think we could contend. If we beat the Rockets last year in five, or six, excuse me, I think we can we can contend for a title this year. So in season number three, we went 50-32. We don't get any major awards because the Dallas' head coach of Rick Carlisle gets coach of the year. So we are the three seed in the Western Conference taking on the Utah Jazz in round one. This Jazz team is interesting. Rudy Gobert, Gallo, Batum, Mitchell, and Wanzo. It'll be the Malik Beasley Revenge Series. So player stats, RJ Barrett, 18 points, almost 19 a night. Six and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, 45, 34, 70 splits. Cole Anthony, 18 and 8, 49% from the field, 31% from three, 89 from the line. Cousins, 18 and 8 with three assists, 48, 28, 76 splits. And then there's Markkinen. 16 points, 7 rebounds, 47, 39, 94 splits. His shoe shooting was probably pretty solid. It was... Uh, 61%, yeah. And then there's DeJounte Murray, 11 points, 6.5 rebounds, almost 8 assists. And then Otto Porter, Claxton, Jones, and Pope. What is this? We're already down 2-0. Now, I'm, okay, so we're down 2-0. Uh, oh my god, we're down 3-0. Don't, don't, don't. Come on. Alright guys, so that was a pretty disappointing 
playoff loss. Now this is a different day. So um, yeah, we're here on the uh, draft lottery. So we are going to be selecting 29th in this year's draft. Now we are going to be a team that I think will have a little bit of money to spend, but we already maybe made our one splash last year in RJ Barrett. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, obviously this is the squad. Uh, DeJounte Murray will be a free agent again. So we will look to bring him back. Cousins, um, I think I'm fine with him. He's 31. Coming off a pretty good year. We'll be fine with him. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, my game didn't save. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the next season the next day. So I had to re-simulate three years and get the whole team together again. So if you see a year's off, or I kind of, you might have just glanced that I didn't have Mike Stauffer. That's the reason why. So Nicholas Claxton is a restricted free agent. And of course, team player options were broken. So out of our pending free agents, who am I bringing back? Murray, he wants 20 mil. Claxton, I'll bring him back on whatever. So... Yeah, if we sign Murray and Claxton, we're probably not going to have money to spend on a guy like a Kyrie Irving, but we don't need him. Um, Zach Levine would be interesting. Maybe Lowry can uh, recruit him here. Kemba is here. Uh, Murray, obviously. Jalen Brown, Mitchell Robinson. Uh, Nurkic, Valanciunas. Free agency class is nice. So let's just bring back Murray, and then I'm going to match any deal Claxton gets. I would honestly just like to find maybe a better guard off the bench in instead of KCP. Gary Harris... He could be a guy to pick up, or mm, Bridges would also be nice. You know what? If I offered Gary Harris a two-year deal, uh, could we afford that? I don't know. We might not even be able to afford it. Uh, can we? Oh, we can. Okay, so we're going to be able to pick up Gary Harris along with bringing back Murray and Claxton. So this team, at the end of season number four, goes 16-22, and we get coach of the year. We are the one seed in the Western Conference taking on the Clippers in round one. This was the rotation I ended up going with by the end of the year, so it was pretty much the same as the year prior. I just... Took out Caldwell Pope and put in Gary Harris. Love these jerseys, honestly. So, uh, yeah, I guess I can show you guys the stats real quick. And then we'll get into the playoffs. So, Cole Anthony, beast. RJ Barrett, beast. Um, Cousins still was really good. He was a really good value signing by us. Marketing's been all right. Um, I'll just quickly go over these. So, um, yeah, we can get into these playoffs because, you know what? I, I want to see what this team can do. So, round one here against the Clippers. We lose game one. I don't know if they brought back Kawhi and Paul George. Um, they might have lost Paul George in the 2021 free agency, but we're up three to one, and I think we're going to be taking um, control over this series. But no, okay, we went in six. Thank you. So now we're taking on the OKC Thunder. Shea, Brandon Boston Jr. They have Kawhi. No way. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Isaac Humphries. Okay, is this guy good? Yeah, he's pretty solid. He's an undrafted dude. What? Like, how does that happen in 2K? They have Bam off the bench. All right. They're doing Bam kind of dirty. So let's see what happens here. Are we going to get upsetted? Please. Kawhi. Okay, now nah, we're up 2-0. Let's just win. 2-1. Uh, to one. Let's go up 3-1. to one. Let's go. Let's just move on. Win in 5. Let's win in 6. All right. So now we're taking on the Nuggets. In the conference finals, Jalen and Jamal. That's a fun backcourt. 2016 draft class for you. Uh, Will Barton. Bull Bull at the 4. Kane Cunningham off the bench. Oh, bro. Please, please just win this series. I'm going to close my eyes. I have a feeling we're going to lose in six or seven. But you know what? I'm going to have confidence. I'm going to be optimistic. And I'm going to say we're going to win in six. 